This video explores wiring Powerwall 2 paired with Backup Gateway 2. After accessing the wiring compartment, we will terminate the equipment grounding conductor, connect communication wires, terminate the AC conductors, and reinstall covers to complete the installation. Each Powerwall 2 comes with an accessory bag that includes one black 4-pin terminal block connector, one green 4-pin terminal block connector with 120 ohm terminating resistor, one AC harness with three Wago 2-position lever nuts, and one wiring compartment cover with five screws. Ensure power switches on any power walls are in the off position. Remove the left side cover from the power wall too by carefully prying the plastic tab near the bottom of the cover. Detach the cover from the clips along the length of the unit. When preparing for the installation, take your time to plan out a short and efficient conduit run. A typical installation uses one inch conduit with a conduit body connected to the inlet on the left side of Powerwall 2. If the conduit run will enter the unit from the side, slide the conduit entry door out of the slot in the cover to remove it. For a cleaner aesthetic, utilize the back conduit inlet. If the conduit will enter the unit from the rear, remove the plug from the back entry port and use it to plug the side entry port. Pull the equipment grounding conductor, AC conductors, and communication cables into the wiring compartment. Strip half an inch of insulation off the end of the equipment grounding conductor. Take the drain wire from the communication cable and twist it around the grounding conductor. Next, connect them both to the ground lug. Trim the drain wire from the communication cable at the gateway. Strip 3 eighths of an inch of insulation from the end of each conductor. Take the green power wall connector from the gateway 2 and the black 4 pin connector out of the accessory bag. Take note of the labels on each connector. Insert the four conductor leads on the communication cable into the connectors and make sure they match on both connectors. Plug the green communication connector into the socket at the top right of the gateway. Inside the power wall wiring compartment, Plug the black communication wire connector into the bottom left socket labeled IN. For single Powerwall 2 installations, plug the green communication connector with resistor into the top left corner labeled OUT inside the wiring compartment. Make sure the connectors are fully seated since there is no locking mechanism. If installing more than one Powerwall 2, follow these additional steps. Remove the connector with the resistor from the first power wall and connect a new four conductor communication cable from the first power wall out port to the second power wall at the port labeled in. Continue daisy chaining communication cables from out to in for each additional power wall too. At the last power wall too in the chain, install the green four pin connector with the end of line resistor in the out port. Within the wiring compartment, notice the AC socket in the top right corner. Strip half an inch of insulation off the ends of the red, black, and white AC conductors. Use the provided Wago lever nuts to connect these conductors to the corresponding leads on the AC power harness. Plug the AC harness into the AC port inside the wiring compartment. Listen for an audible click. Make sure to give each wire a tug to test the connections. Neatly pack the wires and connectors into the wiring compartment. Install the cover on the Powerwall 2 wiring compartment. Tighten the fasteners with a T20 Torx bit to a torque of 13 inch pounds. Replace the bottom plastic tab of the side cover. Replace the left side cover by pushing the top into place and reattaching the clips along the length of the unit. The final step is to remove the protective cover. Giving the customer the option to remove this themselves is a nice touch. However, ensure it has been removed before leaving the site. 